Have you ever wondered how pilots navigate the vast skies? How do they know where to go or avoid in the vast expanse of the sky? It all boils down to aeronautical charts. These charts are like the roadmaps of the sky, guiding pilots through their flight paths, helping them to avoid obstacles and ensure a safe journey from point A to point B. They contain vital information such as altitude, longitude, latitude and airways, making them an indispensable tool for pilots. But in the world of aviation, there's more to aeronautical charts than meets the eye. These charts are not just random drawings, but the result of meticulous planning and standardization. They have to be accurate, up-to-date and universally understandable. Any error, no matter how minor, can lead to serious consequences. So who takes up the colossal task of ensuring the accuracy and standardization of these aeronautical charts across the globe? The answer is the International Civil Aviation Organization, or ICAO, through its Annex 4. So it's clear that aeronautical charts are the backbone of aviation navigation. But who ensures their accuracy and standardization? Enter ICAO Annex 4. IECO Annex 4, a crucial document in the world of aviation, is all about aeronautical charts. But what exactly does that mean? Well, let's dive in. The International Civil Aviation Organization, or IECO, is a specialized agency of the United Nations, and it created Annex 4 to standardize aeronautical charts across the globe. These charts are essential tools in the aviation industry, providing pilots with crucial information for safe navigation and flight planning. Annex 4 sets out the specifications for the content, symbols, and presentation of these charts, ensuring that a pilot in Tokyo can read a chart from Toronto just as easily as one from their home airport. It covers everything from the depiction of physical features like mountains and rivers, to man-made structures such as airports and radio navigation aids, it also details how to represent airspace information, such as airways and controlled airspace, as well as the data required for flight procedures. But Annex 4 isn't just for pilots. It's also a vital resource for air traffic controllers, aircraft operators, and even airport planners. It helps air traffic controllers understand the flight paths and altitudes of aircraft in their sectors. For aircraft operators, it's a tool for flight planning and fuel management, and for airport planners, it provides a consistent format for presenting aeronautical data, supporting the design and development of airports. So, when we talk about ICO Annex 4, we're talking about a document that plays a pivotal role in global aviation. It's a set of guidelines that ensures everyone involved in aviation is on the same page, quite literally. It's about more than just standardization. It's about safety, efficiency, and regularity in international air navigation. As you can see, Annex 4 is not just a document. It's a guideline that shapes the world of aviation as we know it. It's a testament to the power of cooperation and the shared commitment to safety in the aviation community. So next time you're on a flight, just remember, there's a good chance that Annex 4 played a role in getting you safely to your destination. Like all things, Annex 4 is not static. It evolves to keep up with the changing dynamics of aviation. Its journey of evolution is marked by numerous updates and amendments that aim to enhance safety, efficiency and environmental sustainability in global aviation operations. One of the significant milestones in this journey was the updates made in late February and April of 2017. These amendments were crucial in keeping the Annex abreast with the latest developments and challenges in the aviation industry. The essence of these updates is not merely to change for the sake of change, but to bring about meaningful improvements in aviation practices and safety. They reflect the International Civil Aviation Organization's commitment to continually refine and perfect the standards and practices of international civil aviation. The amendments to Annex 4 are not just about updating the rules, but also about equipping airport employees with the knowledge and skills to understand the need for aeronautical charts, their preparation, and how to obtain aeronautical information from them. The Gulf Aviation Academy, for instance, offers a comprehensive five-day program to ensure that the airport personnel are well-versed with these updates. With every update, Annex 4 continues to enhance its role in ensuring safe and efficient global aviation operations. So how do these guidelines translate into real-world operations? Well, let's dive into that. The standards and specifications of Annex 4 are not just theoretical. They're used every day in the world of aviation in practical, tangible ways. 
Consider the flight operations of any commercial airline, for example. Every route that an aircraft takes, every decision made by the flight crew relies on aeronautical charts that adhere to the guidelines set by Annex 4. Take the planning of a route. Pilots don't just randomly decide on the path they'll take from one airport to another. They use aeronautical charts to plan the most efficient and safest route. These charts, prepared according to Annex 4 standards, provide crucial information about airways, controlled airspace, radio navigation aids and more. But that's not all. During the flight, pilots continuously refer to these charts. They're not just for planning, they're an essential tool for navigation, for maintaining situational awareness, for making informed decisions. If there's a weather system ahead, the pilots can refer to the charts to understand the terrain below and choose the best alternate route. And let's not forget about safety. Annex 4 plays a vital role here as well. The charts help pilots avoid hazards such as high terrain, restricted areas, or busy airways. They provide information about emergency landing sites, about procedures for loss of communication or navigation equipment. These are just a few examples of how Annex 4 comes alive in flight operations. And remember, it's not just the pilots who use these charts. Air traffic controllers, flight dispatchers, search and rescue teams, they all rely on these charts, on the standards and specifications of Annex 4, to ensure safe and efficient air travel. From planning a route to avoiding hazards, Annex 4 guides pilots every step of the way. Let's delve deeper into the technical aspects of Annex 4. It's easy to view Annex 4 as a complex manual filled with technical jargon and diagrams, but in essence, it is the backbone of aeronautical charts worldwide, setting the standard for chart accuracy and design criteria. When we talk about chart accuracy in Annex 4, we mean the precision of the aeronautical information depicted on the chart. This includes elements like geographical features, air routes, and navigational aids. The accuracy is crucial because even a small deviation can lead to significant errors in navigation, jeopardizing safety. The design criteria in Annex 4 pertains to the visual presentation of the aeronautical data. It's about how the information is organized and displayed on the chart, from the choice of colors and symbols to the scale and orientation. The goal is to make the chart user-friendly, enabling pilots to quickly grasp the necessary information, even in high-stress situations. But, as intricate as these technical specifications may seem, they all serve a common purpose, to ensure safety in the sky. Every line, symbol and color on an aeronautical chart carries a meaning, guiding pilots on their journey. To illustrate, consider the aeronautical chart as a map for a hiking trip. It shows you the paths, the landmarks and the obstacles. It helps you plan your route, anticipate challenges and reach your destination safely. Similarly, Annex 4 provides the guidelines to create these maps for the sky, ensuring that every pilot has a reliable guide for their flight. So while Annex the 4th of May initially appear as a daunting technical document, it's important to remember its fundamental role. It's not just about the technicalities, it's about transforming raw data into a useful tool, a guide that ensures every journey in the sky is a safe one. And that's the real beauty of Annex 4. It takes the complexity of aviation and presents it in a format that pilots can easily understand and use. Annex 4 is not just a technical document, but a tool that ensures every journey in the sky is a safe one. The reach of Annex 4 goes beyond borders, impacting global aviation operations. Annex 4, with its firm focus on aeronautical charts, plays an integral part in the global aviation sector, setting the standards for navigation and safety. Each country, from Switzerland to Singapore, implements Annex 4 in its own unique way. Yet the International Civil Aviation Organization, or ICO, is the glue that holds it all together. It oversees the annexes to the Convention on International Civil Aviation, ensuring standards and practices are upheld for international civil aviation. The role of ICO doesn't stop there. It ensures that Annex 4 and its regular updates are accessible to all nations, fostering safety and efficiency in global air navigation. This is done through commercially available printouts and digital subscriptions. Through this, ICO ensures that Annex 4 is not merely a document, but a living, breathing part of aviation operations worldwide. With Annex 4, the sky is not just a space, it's a well-coordinated global network. Despite its importance, Annex 4 implementation is not without challenges. Across the globe, countries grapple with the task of adopting these standards, a process that is often easier said than done. 
the hurdles range from technical complexities to administrative roadblocks and even resource constraints. Yet, the aviation world remains undeterred. Potential solutions are continuously being explored and implemented. One such solution is educational programs, like the five-day course offered by the Gulf Aviation Academy, designed to equip airport employees with a deep understanding of aeronautical charts and how to efficiently extract information from them. Furthermore, regular updates to the annexes, like the amendments made in 2018, ensure that they remain relevant, efficient and conducive to safety. Indeed, the future of aviation charting looks promising, with Annex 4 leading the way.